Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use props with the class component. So in previous video, we learned how we can use props with the functional component also. So if you just want to watch this that video, link is given in the description box. So what we are going to learn in this video, we will learn what are the props. Even uh, this thing also we learned in the previous video, but I will just rewind it again for you and uh, after that we will see that how we can use props in class component uh, example of the props with the class component and how we can update a props on button click interview question which i asked in the last video i will provide an answer for you and uh, again i will ask one more question uh, if you just want to attempt this question you can uh, attempt it in the comment box also and this is my insta account if you just want to join me on insta so now let's get started with the first question what are the props so props are basically used for share the data between two components yes we can share the data between two parallel components and we can just say that siblings components as well as in the child parent component also right so now let's create a component and this component will be a class type component right so just create a function let's say a file let's say with a student dot js right and uh, let's make a class component so for that we need to import react so just write here import react from react and after that just write here export default and uh, class and your class name uh, which is student we can put any name uh, this is not foundation that uh, we just put only a student class name uh, because I am just going to put a student because my file name is also student and it will extend extend to react dot component right and uh, let's close it so I actually just made a mistake here I just have to use a small class so sorry for that and uh, now we need at least one render function or not at least there is only one render function right so in this we can just return here some html so let's define a div here and uh, just take an, an h1 tag so that we can just show a little bit in large text so just write here hello student right and after that if you want then you can just format it and uh, let's import it inside a app.js file so just directly jump on top import student from and your component name, name which is student right and now directly use this student here like this uh, and one more thing so this is our functional component yes we can use the functional component and uh, 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 class component as in child also but this video is about a uh, props with the class component that's why I'm just going to convert it in a class so just simply put here class and uh, uh, just your uh, this component name app extends react dot component and we must have to import a react so just write here import react from react right and we must have to wrap this return inside render function like this so all good so what is the output now the output should be similar right as a functional component because we did not make any change so now what I want I just want to pass some data from app component to student right that then how can I pass with the props and for the props we can just send any uh, key from here or any props from here like data name email address whatever you want so let me just pass here name which is Anil right so all right we are just pass the data from here but now we have to get in, in uh, this data inside a student so for that 
what we are getting inside prop so for that just make a console right console dot warn there are lots of way to just check out that what or how much data we are getting in a cons uh, in this component but console is a simplest way right otherwise you can also use a uh, react dev tool also that's totally up to you so just simply put here this dot props right in a functional component we don't need to add here uh, this but in class component we must have to add this and now just uh, simply open your dev tool and you can find it like what we find here let me just refresh it okay so we are just getting it here right now we are just uh, getting a black component blank component so let's make it refresh and now you can see that we got here name so if i just put simply this dot props dot name then i will get my name here and uh, you can just see it like this this is here right so how i can predict it so i just need to simply use here this dot props dot name and here you can see that i got that right so uh, now let's say i just want to make a uh, one more student component and let's pass here some other name like peter so we can just uh, create a one more component here and the all functionality a uh, student component will be same right and name will be dynamic component here because we are just sending a uh, dynamic data from here right that's all so let's just add a little bit style in the our student component so just simply put here style and uh, in a style just put here a background color and uh, let's say background color can be sky blue and one more property like uh, margin can be 20 right and now you can find that we got here so uh, how we can send a multiple data for that there is a no big deal just simply put here email and uh, just uh, send here some data uh, like this also there is a both ways correct you can just simply use your curly braces and then you can pass data otherwise you can directly send a string right so just my email address is anil at the rate test.com and uh, email address for uh, uh, another one we can just send like a peter at the rate test.com and now we have to just show them here so let's take a h2 tag and I'll just write here email this dot props dot name right for email address like that so the everything is working fine so can we use this console outside the render uh, yes we can use but again we need any function kind of things so now in that case it will just give an error but if we have any lifecycle method or some other method then we can use otherwise without any function you cannot use console inside a class directly right so that's great so now what i want i just want to update a student name on a button click so that how can i do it so first of all we need a button right so just define a button and just write here update name and uh, now we need to define a state here right and for state what we need we need a constructor inside a constructor just put here this so uh, first of all we need to add a super because if we are using this inside constructor we must have to call our parent constructor and for calling parent constructor we call here super keyword this functionality belongs to javascript not to react right and all right now just put here this dot state and let's take an object put here name like a uh, anil and now just change this props with the state so just simply put here this dot state dot name right 
and again everything is working fine there is a no change on a butter click there nothing is happened for a moment because we did not put anything here and now let's update this state so just put here on click and in on click just simply use this dot set state and your state name my state name is name and let's say new name is Peter right and now whenever we will just click on this state our state will be updated and the name will be changed here and now you can try it like this so everything is great uh, so let's just check out the points of this video if just something is missing we just get to know what is props how to use example update with the button click everything is fine so interview question in last video i asked that can we pass a function inside a props yes we can pass but in this video i am not going, going to do it right i will make a separate video for it because this is an important thing there is a different concept in a react for that we call it lifting up state and this is again an interview question right so one more i have a question for this video and uh, i will just answer this question here only you cannot change props inside the receiver component right you can just uh, change the props or create the props only in a app component so from the sender component student is here a receiver component if you just want to change this dot props dot email you cannot do it right you can just change and update the props only in sender component right so sometimes they ask that can you change the props and all then how you can change and this kind of things so you can just an answer it right so my question is for this video can i send html inside a props like this right so i have a uh, let's say student here and i just want to put here some uh, h1 tag like this uh, just make me correct just give me a moment like this and i just put here hello so how can i receive this h1 tag which i just put it inside a student in the student right because now if you just check that this is not working how can i just get it and this is again a important interview question so just answer this question in a comment box don't forget to subscribe channel and bye bye take care and good luck for uh, your future god bless you